Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio here in our step-by-step -step to Mega Base series. In the previous episode we finally built the Spidertron and the Power Armor Mark II. This gave us a huge advantage over the biters and I eliminated most of them in our perimeter. What I would like to do now is recon the world a little bit better by actually starting with a grid pattern. Now the Mega Base is not necessarily going to be the classical city block grid scenario. However, we're still going to start with a grid structure to claim all the lands and then we have the entire freedom. So this is not a giveaway of how the mega base is going to look like, but we can kind of get things already going. I want to start by building a line of power poles here, the biggest ones. We're going to do four power poles like this and then go over, build another three. So we also have four right there. We go all the way up, build another three, and then of course complete the grid. This is gonna move all the way up to there. Wonderful. The next thing I would like to place is a radar, maybe on the top right corner. Let's do it right. Mm, actually, I might want to do it on the other side. I'm not decided yet. The radar is only three tasks in size. I think I'm gonna start it on the right side right there. Now next what I would like to do is make a blueprint with Alt B and we're gonna get all of these in the joint. I wanna make this snap to grid and change the width from 92 to 100 and I just see 93 height. Ah, that is because of the radar. Okay, so let me actually change that so the math isn't incorrect. If I put this just one block down then we should also have 92 in height, right there, 92. We are gonna change that to 100 and then, whoop, not 1000, 100, and then offset the grid position by four. So minus four on X and minus four on Y should center this beautifully. I can name the blueprint grid, sure. And we go ahead, create that blueprint. Now, as we hold it in our hand, it is gonna snap to the grid and it's not gonna be the same grid as we established here. So the next thing I want to do is take it apart again. Once that is done, we can replace the blueprint and set it up somewhere. Maybe let's start this a little bit further down south. So we could have our starting grid maybe right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this blueprint and we're also gonna take everything apart that has to do with nature. Good, now I have a clean grid and what I'm gonna do is update the blueprint a little bit. Oh, actually the radar isn't on there, but my main goal was to get it to grid position zero, of course. And I'm gonna add that radar again and I'm also gonna add some wiring. We're gonna add red wiring and green wiring because once we build the blueprints, this is actually free of charge. It just gets placed. We're not gonna be needing all of these wires, of course, but there's no reason to not take advantage of the fact that they are free inside of a blueprint. So now we have all of this hooked up to power and green and red wiring. Another research is done in the meantime. Let's continue with... Yeah, let's now go for the rocket silo and the white science pack later. Either way, we now have an updated version here. So what we should be doing is get that blueprint into my blueprints. And then we're gonna go ahead, select new contents for this blueprint and select whatever the heck we have going on here. So now we can see the cables are included and the radar is included. We're gonna save that blueprint. And as of this point, I can just paste these next to each other. So if we do another example right here, we only have to destroy the nature that is absolutely necessary. So I'm not gonna be deforesting everything. Then maybe let's have another grid over here. So we have three next to each other and technically we only need the radar in the center grid. So I will have to remove a couple of radars as they can cover a much larger area than 100 by 100. That means the center radar is gonna remain and I'm gonna remove the right one and the left one. Let's maybe continue the grid upwards. So add another one here, another one over there. And if we can, well, sometimes maybe we'll not be able to complete the grid, especially over water. I'm just making my way back to restock on materials. And I think temporarily I might want to upgrade the amount of big power poles I'm getting. As a matter of fact, I might just snatch up a bunch of stacks and then we can keep going with the grid. Why are we doing this? Well, a mega base is a enormous project and we want to be prepared. I don't want to realize once I started the mega base that I totally forgot about an aspect of it and it would be impossible to implement later on. Good, now we almost got everything. For now, I'm gonna connect this like so. This way the radars are starting to work. 
And now we can see this radar here lasts all the way over to the other side and all the way over to here. That means we would need a radar every second field though. Yeah, so the next grid right here would contain the radar. So let's just keep going with that. I'm gonna place that with shift because not everything will be able to be placed. But this is exactly where the next radar is gonna go and therefore we get full coverage but we don't have a radar at every block. And of course that also counts for the vertical direction, that means we can get rid of this radar, but then the next grid down below is gonna have it. And actually before I continue, I just wanna make sure, yeah, this fits. This fits perfectly next to the power poles. This is sometimes a problem because the rails can only be placed every other block. Like with the power poles, I can just move one block at a time, but with the rails, you move two blocks at a time, and it's impossible to get the setting right once you've misplaced your grid. And just like that, we will be getting full coverage with a very specific grid. But once again, I just want to remind you, we are not going to be limited to building stuff inside of the grid. I have another direction that I want to go with, with this factory. We've done the city block stuff, we've done other production lines that usually focus on one product. But my goal for this series is more to build a ginormous module that is going to produce a certain amount of all signs that we require. And then once that is done, we will be able to duplicate the entire module that is gonna stretch over way more than one city block. So it's hopefully gonna be a little bit of a different approach and I think it might even work a little bit better. But yeah, I would say while I'm researching the rocket silo and the white science pack, that is what I'm gonna research later, I will be trying to expand the grid slightly. Alright guys, I am back and it is a little bit later. I decided to go all the way out and this is the area we are covering right now with our radar. So if you compare this to the smog, you have kind of an idea how much we covered so far. And I also want to expand the grid towards this area. I think this one here is potentially much more dangerous. So we need to somehow continue our grid over here. Now what I've been doing is mainly working in the map screen and I also made a secondary blueprint with the same stuff except without a radar. So now what I can do is take a grid with the radar and search for one that already contains the radar, such as this one here. Like if I have a look here, this one where I'm standing contains the radar. And then I just have to skip one block and paste it over here. And I can skip another block, paste it over there, maybe skip a block down, paste, skip a block over. I can fit another one here. And now I've done all the ones inside here, which means I can just shift and drag click the other blueprint without the radar and the gaps should be filled up. Now I'm taking my trusty Spidertron remote and I'm making sure that I leave no robots behind. This might be a little bit of a tedious process first. I'm not gonna do the entire map this way, but I want to get myself really well prepared since this is going to be a long lasting safe game. And I'm not going to stop before I have the greatest factory I can possibly achieve. But yeah, now we just reached another tile with the radar and I'm going to make my way down to the tile with the next radar. So right down here, we should be able to reveal a little bit more terrain, then maybe make our way over here to get the next radar. And this is going to be a really good preparation whenever I need to tap into another vein, all I have to do is hook it up to our existing grid. And I'm just going to keep going, mainly focusing on building the tiles with the radars. In the meantime, I've also been doing lots and lots of research. We already unlocked the white science pack. Let me get a bunch more of these radar tiles built and then fill the rest up with the normal grid and keep going. Keep going. Very nice. And just like that, we've revealed another enormous area. I mean, this is a huge part of the world that we now control. And of course, all the radars are going to expand our vision. And looking at our smog cloud, I think we should be fine. If I just keep going here with the radars, we'll be more than okay. However, right now I have to make my way back in order to get more materials, since this is a costly power pole endeavor. I'm now gonna go for a big research, Mining Productivity 3. It's just gonna make our mining sites that much better. But yeah, here we go. Now we have basically covered an enormous perimeter around our initial base. In the next part, we should consider building the white science packs so that once we are finished with all the research, we can, while building the mega base already, continue improving the infinite research. There we go, moving back to base and I think I need to plan out what exactly is going to be required to accomplish the white science pack at the same rate we do everything else. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode, have a great time and see you in the next one, bye bye.